Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lab Cafe's practical session. In this session, we will learn about how to use a beam balance or a physical balance. The aim of the experiment is to determine the mass of a given body using a beam balance. Materials required. To do the experiment, we need a beam balance, a weight box, a given body whose mass is to be determined and spirit level if required. First, we rotate the handle anti-clockwise so that the frame rests on the pillar. Then, we place the metal beam with the long needle on the frame. There is a dent mark under the beam which has to sit on the pin on the main frame. It is also can be observed that there are two points marked on the right side of the beam and one point on the left side of the beam. At this moment, check the tip of the needle is lying exactly on the middle of the ivory scale. If not, then straighten the needle to do so. Now hang the stirrup with a single dot mark to the left end of the beam. and another stirrup with two dent marks to the right end of the beam. Next, hang the pan hanger with a single dent mark to the left side of the beam. Hang it to the first notch of the stirrup from top. Similarly, hang another pan hanger to the right side of the beam. Hang it to the first notch of the stirrup from the top. There are two pans. L is written on the left pan. R is written on the right pan. Place them to the pan holder accordingly. Now, adjust the two travelling screw such that the plumb line hanging from the frame align tip to tip with the pointer fixed with the pillar at the bottom. You can use a spirit level to do the same. The physical balance or beam balance is a weighing instrument which helps us to measure weight or gravitational mass of an object using the principle of moments. It consists of a metal beam B with a knife edge at the center pointing downwards direction. It sits on the frame S. The knife edge rests on the flat top made of brass. There are two nuts N1 and N2 and two knife edge K1 and K2 at the end of the metal beam. A pair of pans P1 and P2 are suspended through the stirrup S1 and S2 respectively. The nuts N1 and N2 are used to adjust the weights of the pan. At the middle of the beam, there is a long pointer P in the downward direction. This pointer moves on an ivory scale G fixed at the bottom of the brass pillar. The pillar has two supports K1 and K2 which rests on the metal beam when not in use. A knob or handle H of the bottom of the wooden box is connected by the horizontal rod to the vertical pillar V. 
when the handle is rotated right wise the beam is raised and ready to use there are traveling screws w1 and w2 provided at the bottom of the box to make the pillar horizontal the plumb line r suspended by the side of the pillar is given to confirm this there are glass doors provided to the wooden box to avoid the air destruction and to protect the balance from the dust particle present in the air when the pans are empty rotate the handle right wise the beam b will rise up and the pointer will oscillate if the oscillations are symmetrical about the central division of the ivory scale the balance is under equilibrium state and ready to measure weights by adjusting nuts n1 and n2 the instrument can be made in equilibrium state procedure once the beam balance is under equilibrium state make the beam in rest position by rotating the handle or knob left towards then put the given object to the left pan and put some standard weights from the weight box to the right pan with the help of forceps Shut the front door so that the air current should not disturb. Now, raise the beam with the help of handle H and notice that the horizontal beam and the pointer is moving to and fro equally both side of the zero division on the ivory scale. If not, then add or remove some fractional weights to get the correct horizontal position of the beam and pointer As you can see the pointer is oscillating symmetrically about the central division of the ivory scale Bring the beam in rest position and collect all the weights and finally add them which will give you the gravitational mass of the object observation it is observed that weights in gram x equals to 10 plus 1 equals to 11 grams weights in milligram y equals to 500 plus 200 plus 200 plus 100 plus 50 plus 
equals to 1060 milligram which is equals to 1.06 gram therefore the total weight in gram is x plus y equals to 11 plus 1.06 gram which is equals to 12.06 grams so the mass of the given object is 12.06 grams precautions pan must be clean and tidy the base should be made horizontal using the traveling screw while adding or removing weight beam should be at rest the body to be weighted should be placed in the left pan the weights to be added to the right pan the beam should be raised or lowered gently to avoid damage to the knife edge masses should always be added in the descending order of the magnitude masses should be placed in the center of the pan the balance should not be loaded with masses more than capacity usually a physical balance is designed to measure masses up to 250 grams weighing of what or cold bodies using a physical balance should be avoided similarly active substances like chemicals liquids or powders should not be kept directly on the pan so these are the step by step procedure to measure the weights of a given body using a beam balance if you like this video please share it with your friends do not forget to subscribe for the future videos on practical session feel free to comment and ask if you have any doubts in the comment section we will see you in the next video